thought these girls was my girls. Can't believe it. I didn't know they was the feds. I'm locked up. No bucks. No luck. It was all good last week. Give you my word, could have bought me a KFC cause I'm moving them birds. Could have fucked your baby mama, man. That bitch is in favor. After all, my name Kane. You know that I'm able. I've been pushing packs for years. I get them in blocks. Been on the corner flipping pigeons. It's Christopher Wallace. Don't mistake me for homie. Trust me, I bring in the bacon. The mother niggas faking. Never been stuck in the basement. Never taped up the pies. Half of them niggas living lies. This shit is so real. I wrote it in C95. On my way to the top. Fought my way out the bottom. In my way, you'll get popped. There's no way you can stop them. K.O. Kane is a problem. Like 10 times 10. Gotta keep it 100. Like 10 times 10. Yo, it's the word, man. It's your boy KK47, the shooter. Bop, bop, bop. And today, you already know, we got another one for you. This one right now is your man Reggie White. You know Reggie White been predicting a lot of that's going on with Diddy, right? So right now he talking about Diddy and Suge Knight is like getting called to testify in the old Tupac case. Is it an old case or is it a new case? I don't know, man. But I'm gonna let your man Reggie White tell us what's going on. But before I let him tell us what's going on, I need y'all to do me a favor. I need y'all to go in there, hit the like, hit the share, leave a comment. I don't care what the comment is. I don't give a... Just leave it for your boy KK47, man. And you know what I'm saying? We gonna make this thing happen, man. Each one teach one. Everyone, you know, you help me, I help you. Whatever, man. But let's get into this one real quick. All right, Reggie. Um, before we get into this week's um, questions and topics, is there anything you wanted to start off speaking on before we get into it? Uh, well, first of all, I got to uh, congratulate the queen of um, hip hop. Our girl Mary J for getting um, nominated or elected into the uh, the Rock and Roll Ho Hall of Fame. Forget which one. I don't know if it's the election or if it was a uh, a nomination, but I think it was she was elected. Second thing, um, shout out all you tours. Yeah, I guess it's y'all time of the year now. All you, uh, I guess they try to say that y'all are stubborn, which yeah, the tours I know are stubborn, but they say y'all loyal as well. Yeah, so shout out to you guys have a good um, birthday month and um other than that john i think we're ready to go you know well i hope y'all really truly understand those i understood the whack interview the whack 100 um interview again to why he was posted over here number one because he's my friend uh and um you know he seems to do well on YouTube, and y'all always asking for a different guest that lived in Reggie, <laughs> so we brought somebody in, and then y'all wanted to criticize us for that. But like I said, once again, I'll reiterate: it's not that bomb first or uh, saying that any of the things that really have um, the people over here upset is true. We're not saying that at all. Nothing like that. We're saying we understand where he gets it from. That's all we said, where he got it from. Yeah. I'll leave that there for now. But um, other than that, appreciate you guys. I hope, you know, those that y'all that elected to unsubscribe at the time will come back, give us another chance. And because um, we do appreciate all our subscribers over here at Bomb First. 
Other than that, let's go, John. Okay. Um, last week, Keefe D had a, a court hearing. Um, I know that it was streamed on YouTube. I wanted to see if you were able to catch it, and if you were, if you had any thoughts or takeaways from um, what you saw. Was he in court, <laughs> or was he, or was he on the streets? Or <laughs> was he in civilian clothes? I know that crackhead Jack Roy White said he's out on bail. <laughs> Been out since January, but I tell you, y'all keep listening to uh, the uh, weirdos. And that's when y'all get weirdo information. But I'm being facetious, yes. Sleepy is still in custody. Didn't even mention anything about Bill this time, which is kind of strange to me, uh, to why they haven't came up with the $75,000 to get him posted or bailed out. But I understand because he has that high profile attorney uh, working for him. And I'm sure he has to, even if, the, if he's doing it pro bono, I'm sure that you know he got to pay for investigators and stuff like that to go out and re-interview people and, and collect the information. So there's some fees that's called. So I understand. I get it. Um, before your freedom, in my mind, I think you should make sure you have the proper legal uh, representation. Okay, now that attorney, <laughs> that attorney. Mr. Arnold, I believe his name is, seemed to be a pretty good guy, you know, type of attorney you want representing you. But I caught something that he said, not on the day of the hearing, we'll talk about that later, but he did an interview about a week prior uh, with a, a local news station in Las Vegas. If he didn't do it, does he know who did? No, he does not know who did. And why should we trust Keefe D now? You shouldn't trust Keefe D. You absolutely shouldn't. And that should be the thing that causes him to walk. Arnold says he plans to subpoena Suge Knight for the trial. Knight is the only living witness and was driving the car Tupac was riding in. Arnold also says another witness we could hear from, Sean PDD Combs. So, did y'all hear on that interview what he said? He said that his intent is to subpoena Shug Knight and Diddy. Wow, okay. I think he needs to reevaluate that decision because I know he's listening to new stuff. He haven't heard the old stuff that, that Mr. Knight and while the DA office is elected not to to use him and subpoena him because they know he just want to make a mockery of this case. That's why he's hollering free Keefe D. But he knows what he has said in the past. There was an interview by this young lady that pretty much admitted, and I'll let y'all hear it. Should Knight names an individual named Baby Lane as um, who he thinks is responsible for Tupac's murder. He does not say Orlando Anderson's name, and Orlando Anderson says that he is not Baby Lane. Did you hear what the young lady said that he told her in the interview? Okay. There's also this TMZ uh, interview that he, uh, he he said. Off the top, I ain't the n***a with Tupac, I'm the n***a protected n***a with Tupac. Yeah. But at the same time, bitch ass puppy can give him a mother star and every rat in the world said he didn't want to kill Tupac yep. or had him shot. Yeah. You know what I mean? But if you notice, it was a rat on television saying he didn't want to get the shooting, this happened, that happened, this happened, that happened, right? Right. If you think about it, right? When people ask me if I know who killed Tupac, and not saying Tupac dead or alive, but I'm saying if I ask me if I know who killed Tupac, I'm the said, hey, absolutely not. Yeah. Okay. So did y'all hear what he said there? He, he's saying Tupac's a lie. He's, but he admitting there that, you know, a guy that's doing uh, interviews all on YouTube has already admitted to this. Why aren't they in jail and stuff like that? 
But now he's saying free KPD, which you guys or his attorney and people like that would assume that he's trying to say Keefe has nothing to do with this or that he's innocent or he's on this major, major campaign and I don't get why, still don't understand it. Don't know why he's so vindictive this way to put a murder, to try or attempt to put a murder on someone that you upset with, meaning his ex-wife, daughter, his daughter's mother, uh, and Snoop Dogg, and even me. Why, why is he that vindictive where he's trying to, now, today, in 2024, accuse all these people of something to do with, with the murder of Tupac? Y'all say, well, he just learned out this. He just found this out. His investigation in prison uh, in 2024 made him come up to this conclusion. Okay, all right. What investigation is he doing from some, in prison with all these J-cats? One of these J-cats right here? Look at the type of nigga he's hanging around in prison. So DJ Cats right there are the one that's helping him. Well, we know DJ Cats that be emailing him in prison. Maybe they the ones telling him all this. But no. I just gotta say, Mr. Orno, you need to really leave Shug Knight where he's at. Because <laughs> if you're thinking about subpoenaing him for saying something like that, the DA is going to have a field day with him and his credibility. P. Diddy. <laughs> I know he want to bring P. Diddy in there. You think P. Diddy attorney is going to allow him to say anything? <laughs> P. Diddy is going to say, I plead the field. That's going to help. I plead the field is going to <laughs> help your case, sir. Stop playing in the media, dog. People are smarter than that. I know a lot of the people that be emailing you and contacting you and all of that is not as sharp as their attorney as you are or appears to be. Don't let Keefe D play attorney with you. Advise him right, dog. Advise him right would be my, uh, my take from that hearing that I saw. Ja. Peace, my first. But going back to the original question, Reggie, um, and, and and I definitely appreciate your take on what you just spoke about. But when it came to the actual hearing, was there anything that people can um, walk away knowing that they didn't know prior, or is it just business as usual? Well, for the for a blind eye or the blind from a person that you know didn't really pay attention and you just looked at it and let it come across your, your feed or watch it on YouTube, you would have thought it was just a rescheduling hearing that most people just got that he's still in custody and he'll be going to court again on July the, uh, be coming back for, you know, July the 23rd. And that the the um, the judge, uh, you know, making sure everybody getting the discoveries and all of that. The DA office admitted that they still have one set of uh, discoveries that they still uh, redacting and they'll be turning over to the uh, defense attorney. But so that was just business as usual, as you said earlier. But what I caught in that hearing, and it was strange. And it made me jump up like, whoa, what they got, what's working? I went to play this part that the judge said on the bench. 30 days or so, we should be setting the last batch of discovery. So these are potentially other um, suspects in the case? Yeah, I, I think it's just- Investigative leads? Yeah, investigative leads, leads are just uh, <coughs> because, uh, uh, yeah, and other other things that uh, I think Mr. Arnold is entitled to, and so I just want to be as thorough as possible. Did y'all hear what that judge said? Was that a slip up? Or was she just talking off the top of her head or what? She said, adding any additional suspects to this case. 
And the defense attorney remained silent. He didn't say anything. And the DA seemed to got a little, little uh, shook and, and said something like, no, 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 no. That's not the intent. You know, we just got some other things to do. But for that judge to say that, I really think she's been signing something in the background that we don't know about. Maybe a search warrant or a uh, or something where it's somebody or something that's getting looked into. Trust me, that judge wouldn't have threw that out in an open court uh, room without there's something that's brewing. I know a lot of y'all want to believe that it's Puffy and the P. Diddy thing and all of that. I'm still not there. I don't believe it. But that wasn't no major slip up. And um, it's going to be interesting. Not quite sure. <laughs> not ready to put my reputation and bomb first reputation on the line by saying something else is about to happen. But y'all go back and listen to that again and just see. If y'all just think it was maybe a, mis a mistake or if something is happening in the background. But, um, yeah, that would be the major take that I took from that hearing. And um, that's all I think I have to say at this time about that uh, situation. But y'all remember this date. <laughs> y'all remember this date. Let's mark this date down. Uh, the end of April, I'll just say. It appears that uh, something is happening. All right, there you have it. Reggie White said what he said. I mean, kind of shaky on this one. Last time he predicted what was going to happen, he was going to raid Diddy Crib. Was it a prediction or was it just, you know, he's just talking about it and it was bound to happen regardless? Because right now he don't even seem sure to know what's going on. But as far as Tupac, and the Biggie case, I mean, excuse me, the Tupac and uh, Suge Knight and, and uh, P. Diddy getting called? I don't know. That do sound kind of fishy. You got to let me know what y'all think about that. You know what I'm saying? But Reggie White, man, I don't know, man. One minute you like, yo, I'm telling y'all, I better watch the tapes. This is about to happen. Now it's like, yo, I'm not sure. I don't want to put my reputation on the line. Like, bro, are you sure? Or are you not sure, bro? Let us know what's going on, man. And if you know what's going on, do me a favor and leave it in the comments right there and let me know what's going on because I have no idea what's going on. All I know is that I'm KK47. This is my channel, and I appreciate y'all for checking in. And I'm out of here. Peace. KK 47, 47. Try to take what's mine, but the block you must be bugging. I'll be forced to let the dump or blow a hole inside your pumpkin. Bitch, the streets is all I know. Fuck a hostage, diddy ho. Did KO a gangster bitch, one who's trapping with the blow. In the summer, make it snow. Hurricane in the club, but my waist is a snub. All these bitches know what's up. I'm from a place where niggas don't walk too much. Girls from the hearse, they wouldn't fuck us till we talk to Thank you for checking in with me. You want to stay updated? Check out this playlist right here. Oh, you still here? Hit subscribe.